You know, there's one more trick we haven't tried yet. What's that? We need to dress up. Oh, shit. You thought I forgot. I forgot. <laughs> oh, I'm so excited. I don't feel like this bodes well for me. You son of a bitch. You son of a bitch. <laughs> what the fuck are you making me wear? <laughs> What the hell is this? Am I Dorothy? God damn it. She ain't gonna fit. Word to the wise. This is why you don't allow him to choose the costumes for the period dress up. Cause he gets to be a 1920s gangster and I'm fucking Dorothy. From the goddamn Wizard of Oz. And it doesn't have the decency to give me a fucking Toto to go with it. Oh my god. I legitimately look like the Grinch when he decides not to go to the party. Alright, Tim. I think it's about time that uh, we go get dressed in our period accurate clothing. <sighs> Alright. <laughs> You're going to look fantastic. I'm sure. And I promise, no dresses this time. Alright. Reaching out one last time to Mr. James Earl Ray. During a Halloween event, one room was set up to look like an exorcism was being performed. Unfortunately, audio from a real exorcism was used which the owner believes may have opened a door to an actual demonic presence. This demonic presence has been nicknamed Mr. Nasty. I gotta be honest with you, Mr. Nasty, you're, you're pretty boring. You're weak sauce. Expecting more. Yeah, big time. Yeah, Mr. Nasty was so weak sauce that I took the title of Mr. Nasty. That and my pension for ripping ass. I'm I'm very concerned about what we'll finally get some good footage, and then right when we're getting the good footage, I'm gonna rip ass because I dude I'm so gassy right now. I, I'm holding it in. You ate all that chili. I ate chili for two days straight. Jesus. Oh. God. <laughs> I'm more afraid of that right now than the actual potential spirits here. What do you think about that, Mister Nasty? I mean, you, you did it right in Emily's room, too. Oh, shit. I'm sorry, Emily. You didn't deserve that. I should have saved that for Mr. Nasty. I think I can think of. Oh, what was that? Oh. <laughs> I'm Mr. Nasty. I'm Dirty Dan. <laughs> You're just gonna rip ass and walk away. Yep. You're gonna crop dust me, you motherfucker. <laughs> See, I've been holding back this whole time. But guess what? Those days are over. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Do you hear that? Oh God. God. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Oh God. Oof. I am ripping ass right now. After dressing in our questionable costumes, we made our way back to Emily's room for one last visit. You look. Ah, that's it. I'm not going. <laughs> <laughs> I look completely emasculated. I'm Judy Garland. You should have just got me like a flapper girl outfit. <laughs> you look very... Woo! Judy! <laughs> Do you think that uh, my friend over here is looking mighty dashing? Were the village people around back then? Or was that before? Uh, I think the village people were like 70s and 80s. Okay. I think. Yeah, so, I mean, so according to him, I'm probably the original village person then. <laughs> <laughs> With my boots and all. <laughs> yeah, the boots make it. 
You're welcome. I'm so happy you wore the boots. So intentional. <laughs> when we got in the car, I saw you were wearing shit kickers. Inside, I was going, yes. Yes. <laughs> I just knew how it would look. You know what? I'd rather look like a village person than Dorothy. I'm just going to say that. Oh, well, I should step it up next time. Yeah. That was me. Was that a paint chip? You and your uh, your shit kickers you got on. <laughs> Obviously, I live in fantasy land. Yeah, I know. Look at you. <laughs> Someone's fantasy. <laughs> I was going to wear um, the hat that came with this, but my wife told me it was not very flattering. I'll leave it at that. <laughs> Hey, hey, I'm struggling too over here. Oh, are you now? Yeah. Oh, are you now? Horizontal stripes are not flattering. They make you look fatter. So I, I'm feeling it too. It's literally crushing my skull. And um, the, the hat is your first concern? <laughs> I've grown accustomed to the shorts, okay? <laughs> I feel like if you sit down wrong, you're going to show brain to everyone. Yeah, that's why I'm not sitting down. It's the fact there's a stool right there and I'm not sitting there. <laughs> oh, what a waste of time. This was not uh, a raging success. I'm getting, I'm getting dressed again. I'm cold. <laughs> Tim's out. Because if those are spirit voices we're hearing, then we're the greatest ghost hunters of all time. Yeah. While Tim was getting a history lesson, I was concerned with something else. About that, like when Spider-Man swings through the city, mm. does he just leave <laughs> webs everywhere? He has and then to. does the city have to clean that up? He would have to. Behind. What an ass. D-Block was an isolation cell quarters for the prison's most difficult and deadly criminals. It was dubbed the New Hole. I'm trying to give this man a history lesson. And he just goes inside. What an ass. This place would have been hell in a cell. <laughs> By God! Why is there a Dale Earnhardt thing right there? Do a spirit box session? I want to check out the crazy bin first. Yeah, do too. <laughs> so not only are we one of the few people to ever investigate it, we will also be the last. I know, this is exclusive. That's right kids, get the cheese out of your ears. I don't know if that's a real saying or not, but I'm gonna stick with it. Watch your stirp. Oh, I wanna go back. I may go in there and do an individual session. I'm very intrigued by the whole. That sounded a lot more innocuous than I meant. Did you touch Colby when he was sitting in the chair? If you did, turn the flashlight on. If that wasn't you, maybe there's just like a delay in the spirit world. I'm crazy, but maybe he just gets confused. Is it someone crazy in here? Well, I guess they don't. Oh, that was quick. So you are crazy. If you are, turn the flashlight off. Could do our solo. It's gunshots. Yeah. Why is there a gunshot at almost one in the morning? Coyotes. Who the fuck's hunting right now? That's one of the main reasons I don't go hunting. It's early in the morning, it's cold, and I don't want to go. Thank God I got Mothman with me, because otherwise I'd be getting lost up in here. Are you trying to make a Mothman? What sound do moths make, Mothman? <laughs> I don't. I want to argue against that, but I don't know enough to call bullshit. Is that what sound of Mothman? Right? <laughs> it's a match. Match? You say it on the match on the Mothman? They didn't even know who the Mothman was. They didn't even know. There's been a lot of death in this place. The Mothman did not come visit Brushy Mountain. I don't know that. I do know that. How do you know? I can't say beyond an absolute certainty. Is that a cigarette or a roach? Jamie Bell. 
apparently loves pot, but not enough to draw the correct number of leaves. Or that could be a normal leaf, and I'm just a pothead. <laughs> Shows you where my priorities are. If there's anyone out here right now, please turn the light on. If Sasquatch is out here, I'll take a Sasquatch. If Sasquatch is out here, will you please turn it on? That's, uh, I had someone tell me about this location and one of their main selling points was they left uh, some Skittles on this bridge. And then when they came back, the Skittles were gone. I'm not trying to be dismissive, but we are in the woods. So it very easily could have just been a number of things. My first guess would be uh, a raccoon. So, oh, look at that. Guacamole Azen penis. I mean, it's a pavilion out in the woods. It's only a matter of time until stumbled upon a penis. But I do gotta say, for an old pavilion area in the middle of the woods, there is a shockingly almost non-existent number of penis and swastika graffiti. Is there a squatch out here? Or is there just one bearded weirdo out here talking to the air? Because there's nothing. So I am going to be giving this uh, a zero out of five spook. Jesus Christ! dog just ran across the road that's the scariest thing that's happened all night there's another train coming Dude, it's almost three in the morning enough with the trains don't talk back to me so I mean what do we do now waffle house waffle house